Automatic machine TP TOCF is designed to operate the transistors packed in tube and obtain different forms depending on the die assembled. All tools and keys necessary to adjust the machine are included. To set up the machine, introduce the stick holder from the machine upper side. Set the dial gauge located on the right side of the machine on zero, turning the outer ring of the same gauge. Introduce the stick of components to be operated from the upper side of the machine. Adjust the guides at the machine's center, turning the four knobs. Adjust the height of the stick holder from the machine back side in order the components freely slides till the operation point. The position of the cylinder that stops the downstroke of the component between the guides is adjusted with reference to the component to be operated. If the dimension of the body change, set the speed on zero, step by step, and press start in order the first component is ready at working position. Adjust the position on the lower side of the machine in order to have the body of the component to be operated in central position with reference to the line marked on the wire holder. Adjustment of the cutting length To move the form away from the body or to bring it closer, cutting length, it is necessary to loosen the assemblies on the right and left side of the machine using the key supplied and with the same key the pin in the middle of the machine shall be turned in order to move the dies away or to bring them closer to the body of the component. The shift in dimension can be checked at the comparator. When the adjustment is finished, lock the assemblies on the right and left side of the machine. Warning: When the dies are moved at the highest position, minimum cutting length, do not force rotation with the key. We obtain the longer cutting length. The position of the form is farther from the body. To set the speed, press the button speed till the number flashes. Press the button clear and set 0 step by step or speed 1, 2 or 3. Confirm pressing the button preset. Check the set speed pressing the button speed. Adjustment of the form in stroke. The stroke of the dies right and left can be adjusted to have more or less pressure. The position of the closed dies can be checked with the position of the pointer and the millimeter scale. Set the speed at zero. Press the bottom start till the dies close. Loosen the knob on the right side and tighten or loosen the pin using the key supplied. Visualize the pointer's displacement on the dies. Sa standard set is zero on the millimeter scale. Perform the same operation on the left side if necessary and lock again the knob on the right and left sides of the machine. Substitution of the dies. Lift the ejection blow assembly. Remove the tube and all eventual components still inside the guides. Loosen the four knobs that re and remove the two guides. Loosen the two screws from the outer side of the wire holder assembly, right and left. Take out the two wire holder if it is, it is possible to facilitate removal by screwing the two drawing screws. Warning: Remember to loosen again the two drawing screws immediately after the two wire holder assemblies are removed. They shall remain inside the iron block. The two wire holder assemblies are part of the machine and are not part of the die assemblies. Loosen the block on the right and left sides of the machine and turn the pin located in the center of the machine in order to lower the die assembly and allow the removal of the same die. Loosen the four screws that lock the two dies.
Remove the two dies. There is a plate with the code number and the reference right and left on each die. Assemble the new dies, introducing them into the two pins and lock the two screws. Introduce the two wire holder assemblies and lock them with the two outer screws. Position the, the die holding slide again on zero on the comparator and lock the machine right and left blocks. Periodically check the pressure of the four screws on the wire holders. Too high pressure obstruct the wire holder sliding and too low pressure may create dangerous gaps. Lock the, a little bit the four small locking screws. Assemble again the two component guides and fix them with the four knobs. Assemble again the ejection blow assembly. Introduce the cube and adjust the two cube guides and the two component guides. Components shall freely slide from the tube to the operation point.